capturing the man following a woman into her apartment building and then brutally attacking her. I would introduce reporter Tim Fleischer tonight talking with a neighbor who came to her rescue. He's in bed -Stuy. Tim? And Bill, in this case, right in this apartment building, a vicious attack on an 88-year-old woman. When I got to the door, I heard somebody scream, so I snatched the door open and she bam, and he was taken off. And I Paula Kitt missed the brutal attack of her neighbor by just seconds, but rushed to her side here on the second floor landing. The 88-year-old victim dizzy after being brutally knocked to the ground. He bust upside her head because she was spun for a while. And I, I told her, lay, 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 and I told my granddaughter, call 911. The attacker, seen here in this video, slips in behind the victim as she enters her building. Following her up the stairs, he came up behind her as she reached the landing just steps from her apartment. He knocked her to the ground and stole her purse. Caught on a security camera, the suspect's a black male in his 20s, six feet tall. He wore a blue coat, black cap, dark colored pants with two white stripes down the sides, black sneakers with white stripes. We have seen, as I say, in the, in the last uh, few days, attacks on the, on the elderly and obviously uh, you know, we have to be concerned about that. We want people to uh, to be on guard. This man walking to a store was suddenly tripped from behind, then dragged off the sidewalk where he is beaten and robbed, the thief running away. The victim was able to stagger to his feet and eventually make his way to a bodega where the owner called for help. Three attacks in just a matter of days. But Paula Kitt knows... And I'm quite sure if he would have grabbed my bag, I might have gave him a fight. She can't fight. Yeah. She's very slow, so she's a target, you know. And for them to do it to an old person. Yeah. Mm. Most disturbing. That man in the Bronx, we understand, is in critical condition. Reporting live in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.